Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or Krispy Kremes for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Today guys, I want to talk about some really crappy service. And I got a good friend of mine, Glenn. He's just gone through a really stressful part of his in his life. And, you know, one thing we like to do is look at <laughs> luxury cars. Luxury cars. So we we um, we had lunch together on Saturday and then we went and looked at some luxury cars, as you do. And I got to tell you, uh, we went to Mercedes-Benz at, at Turinga um, Centenary. Mercedes-Benz, Centenary Mercedes-Benz, and I got to tell you, I've never felt so unwelcome in my life. They were absolute crap. As a dealership, it just felt really, really horrible. And, you know, the thing is, I recently bought a, um, a luxury car. I bought a BMW. And, you know, the thing is, I'm looking at when the lease comes up on this BMW. I'd like to try a Mercedes, but I, I don't think I will because the service was so crap. And the thing is, Mercedes Benz, I gotta be honest with you. When my dad was looking for a Mercedes Benz, my dad has a C200 W, W205. We went to Centenary Mercedes-Benz and we <coughs> I negotiated a good deal. He got a white, that's his white C-Class. And he loves his Mercedes. And it was a good vibe. The dealership was peppy and we got a good deal. And one thing about Mercedes-Benz is they got a, at, at Centenary Mercedes-Benz, they got a big uh, kitchen where they cook meals for you. you got little snacks you can have a drink you're looking around at cars you can come and have a free drink a free snack and I gotta be honest with you we went there on the weekend I went there with Glenn and Glenn you know, I know Glenn can be a bit of a pain in the ass he's a bit of a tire kicker but he wants to get a, he's he's a 50 year old man he wants to get a luxury car he's got an infinity which you know, there's Infinities. They're an orphan brand. They're not Prestige anymore. He wants to buy a Prestige motor. And I got to tell you, Centenary Mercedes-Benz treated us like shit. They really did. We went there. We were looking around. And, you know, we just just looking around. There's no prices on the cars because now Mercedes-Benz uses the fixed price model. So there's no negotiating. That's the price. We then, the, the, the cafeteria, well, there's no staff. They've cut the staff down. We were there on a Saturday afternoon and there's no damn staff. You've got to ask the receptionist to get a cake out for you. And... So, so I'm a bit shy. I didn't want to do that. But Glenn's brother, Shane, he goes, oh, could we have a cake, please? And the lady on reception goes, oh, are you seeing a salesman here? And, you know, I don't really like that pushy sell. That is shit. Let me say this to you. It is shit. That is not the way you sell luxury cars. Pushy I mean, don't have... Don't have a fucking cafeteria if you're not going to give service. If you're not going to do the service, don't have 
fucking cafeteria. It is shit. Absolute fucking shit. Okay, it's absolute fucking shit. That's what I thought Mercedes Centenary. It's just shit. Shit. And they're not friendly. They're not helpful. They don't want to fucking serve anything. Well, fucking don't have a cafeteria. And they got really shit selection of cars. I wanted to see the the C classes. They they had a few. I wanted to see the um, the SL. No SLs in the dealership. Really crappy range. Um, snooty. One thing I did notice, I opened the door on a C200. It smelt like I was at Clark Rubber. Absolutely no leather inside this vehicle whatsoever. Just petrochemicals. I got to be honest with you, Mercedes-Benz is really dropped the ball. This, see, Mercedes-Benz has gone into an agency model. No longer do you have independent dealers who own the stock. No, no, no. It's now all the stock is owned by Mercedes-Benz. Fixed pricing, no discounting. And the service has gone to shit. The dealers, that now that they've had to slice everything down because they're no longer competitive. They've got fixed pricing. Mercedes has reduced their margin. And they really, i got to be honest with you, I felt unwelcome. I felt really, really unwelcome. It felt like shit. Uh, it really felt crap. And I, I went there and I wanted to buy a Mercedes. They had a, I wanted to get a gift. I got to need to get a gift for a big fan of mine who is a Mercedes enthusiast. They had these bottle wine caps thing it was, it was five different they're like gear knobs and that you put them into your wine after you've opened wine bottle after you've opened the bottle and they can't sell anything oh sorry the parts department's not here today fuck how hard is it it, it, it was a hundred dollar cork set how hard is it to really do a sale on the weekend you just have a petty cash book boom 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 what did they buy stock code price take the money and that's it but no, it's all too much fucking hassle. I got to tell you, Mercedes-Benz, fucking pull your finger out of your ass. Mercedes-Benz, pull your finger out of your ass. And I, I got to tell you, we went to Lexus. They were crap. Lexus at Indrapilly, absolute crap. And then we went to Westside BMW. That was the only place... We felt remotely welcome. Westside BMW. Westside BMW, the lady said, would you like a coffee, sir? Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Whereas Mercedes sucked. Lexus sucked. I, I don't know what's wrong with these drongos. They got massive dealerships, massive expenses, and they can't be fucked serving customers. All I can say is, Mercedes Benz, stick it up your fucking ass! I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. I think that's a GLA. It's called a GLA. See, it's a turbo. So it'll be small displacement. Do you like that new front? Yeah, it could be a GLB. What is it? GLA 45. Huh. So that's just looks bigger than the, the old. Right? Yeah, what's this one that, next to us? Is this a B or what's this? What's this? That's good. That's a C, is it? It is bigger. Is that a GLC? I can't see, it's on the other side. GLC. Yeah, it is a lot. I never did. Can you get this? Is that petrochemicals or leather? The smell. Uh, a I bit of leather. This is what I don't understand. Yeah. I don't want sway steering wheel. It looks good. Oh. Uh, imagine it gets that blacky land. shit. You know. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, well, like actually, I, that, that is fucking ridiculous. Why you would you? Like Federico and have two blokes in your car. Do you remember he yes. wipes in his car? Yeah, he's uh why did he keep the wipes in the car though really poor? <laughs> I gotta be honest with you.
What do you, I didn't like the front. What the fuck is that front? It's kind of weird. It's got a camera there. It's sort of... I, I don't know if I like that. Do you? What? That's a, that's the new... I think this is a new... This is a... What's this say? That's a C200. No, it is. You know why? The w wheels. But let the petrol chemicals hit your face. That's This smells like rubber. It, it's like rubber. We're, we're at Clark's yeah. rubber. We're at Clark's rubber. That's what it's called. We're, we're at Clark's on, Rubber. Yeah. This is like we're at Clark's Rubber. We've got, we've got a floatable we're swimming around in a pool in. You smell that? Yeah. Because there's no fucking leather in that car. That's all vegan leather, you understand, don't you? It's, it's like we're at Clark's Rubber there, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, what do you think? Is that $84,000? Sorry, 87, 87. Is that on road? Yeah, drive away. Yeah, but you could have my 330i for bloody... I don't care what anyone says, that's an amazing looking car. The S. You like the S? I love what you say. Me for driving around that I want to drive an S. For me it's too big. It's too big? Yep. Yeah, for me, if I'm in an S, I'm being driven around. I understand. See, I don't like this GLC. Do you like the GLC? What the fuck is that? It's Doesn't... A, I don't like it, but I don't like it. Okay, what's this thing here? Is that an E-Class? I think that's an E. What is that? Like How can you tell it's an E? How do you... How do you... Oh, that's See, <laughs> that's not too big. It is beautiful. That's something I But would you get it with a white interior? I've got no problem. I've had base interior. The problem is... The seatbelts. No, these have got black seatbelts. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not really bad. That's more... That's an E350. Fuck, that's a very nice car. Yeah. That, and that's got... You know it's got the more wood in it too? Yeah. And as I said, I'd rather... No, that's a beautiful car. Yeah. And you open the door, you don't get hit by petrochemicals. That's cow. Yeah. That's fucking beautiful. Do you like that big fucking LCD screen, Bart? Look at that. It's like a meter long. I'm not used to it, but I don't hate it. I'm not offended by it. Okay, you're not offended by it. So I could, I could buy one of these. I could drive one. Yet, you I'm should. Good. You know that? You're getting old. When are you going to get yourself a car? Oh, Seriously, no you're approaching 50. <laughs> Man, that's the... You know, i got to tell you, Glenn. Glenn, yeah. tell your brother, get a car. He's a car person. Oh, I love what cars. What are you going to do? How much money do you want in life? Oh, I, I love cars. Are you going to get one when you're 70? It's like, there's numerous cars out there. That's a big truck, life. isn't it? But, you know, Lee, I, I want a good deal, and no one wants to give me a good deal. <laughs> I, I don't want to pay what they are. I'll wait till the interest rates go up, and no one wants the cars, and I'll yeah, buy one. that's a fair point. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you should next... get a Porsche. You should get a Porsche, man. You uh, fucking love it. Yeah. You had a Saab Cabriolet. I mean, yeah. that's a cool car. They're not garbage what do you think of that Listen, I, I don't hate it I actually like it a lot but I prefer the E-Class e over there than the GA. what do you prefer oh, the e I, hate, yeah. I hate SUVs yeah. centre of hate... gravity is wrong do you understand this looks weird to me. what the fuck is that I've never seen it I don't know what it is it's something a... EQS that's like an E-Class Looks like it should be a Total Recall. Total Recall. It is. That's where it's from. Total yeah, Recall. Yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> it's with that fucking taxi driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, Hello. Look. Welcome to Lucky Cabs. Was it Lucky yeah. Cabs? Got that. Yes. <sighs> Fuck. It's electric. Whoa, look at you. Look at Hello. That. Welcome to Lucky Cabs. Well, look at this screen. Yes. Yeah, Fuck it. me dead. It's a monster. Imagine it's, yeah, and that's the buttons. See the on off. That's the buttons you're talking about. The climate. You see? Do you like that shit or not? I think it's overdone. Lucky cabs. That's another E class. I was thinking of that. That's, that's the old one, I think, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still nice. It, it is. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't I be just, unhappy. Why it's, do they all have to get Pillarless. Pillarless as well. Did you know that? Pillarless. Yeah, it is too. 
But why do they have to go bloody green? Oh, I don't know, because it's that's something... That's what I don't get. It's, it's so you know you're electric. I, I like the you tint that's got on it. Yeah. No, I still like that. See, I like it. I feel like it. That's that's the CLA. I don't like the CLA. Do you? Oh, that, 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 I'm not always the CLA. Oh, are you no, joking? It's weird at the back. No, but that's like the no. Oh, it's the an CLA, A. The CLA. That's the new base, isn't it? The A. The, the, um, the CLA did that one. Yes, yes, it did. It did. It didn't mind. It was front wheel drive. I didn't like the CLS, but I liked the CLA. Oh. oh. What do you think? I don't like that fucking suede. I told you, I don't like suede. I mean, it looks nice now, but yeah. when it gets old, you we know... We live in Queensland, mate. What do you think is going to happen here? Have you tried cleaning that shit? I can't. Oh, yeah. Because even when you clean it... 2018, 54,000. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? 54,000? I mean... The dad got one for... Oh no, what's uh, what's it? Jesus. Oh, is that worth 54,000? 44, that's a. I don't mind the GLA. The GLA's their baby SUV. I don't hate them either. I don't hate them. I've always said But that, that is you. nothing, isn't well, it? It's I've nothing. always said with the GLA, it's a beefed up A class. Yes. So, there's yes. one person who actually wants it A class, but wants something that Put the fucking dog in the boot, yeah, you know? Yeah, you can. Oh, he's got a stop start too. He's got this here too. Oh. It closes. I don't hate self. it. I really don't hate it. I, I had always a, said that to you. Yeah. You know, in Singapore, I've got a friend who's got a GLA 180, exactly like this, $180,000. Yeah. That's so cute. That's, that, that's like about 190 Aussie. Singapore's slightly H How more. much are these here? They used to be cheap. They used to be They're about 60 cheap. grand, weren't they? No, they were cheaper. They were cheaper than yeah. CLA. They were. Yeah, yeah. But then they went up. Yeah. Obviously, the guys will just not talk. Yeah. Actually, I want to go to the toilet too, if you don't mind. Oh, oh fuck. What do you think? Do you love benches or not? You know, I think for you, Glenn. Busted back in, you know what I mean? The beans I like is the SLs. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love them. Why aren't there any SLs here? Why is no SLs? Saying they brought out the new Why? Why is there no SLs? I love the coupes. Oh, actually, the coupe looks better in a BMW. I was looking at the green one. I thought they were here. Where is the toilet? Oh, sorry, you're right. Thank you. Left of the cafe. Oh, this is the funny one with the SL? Yes. I was looking for a 2014 one. Its yes. overall rating was 8.3. Yes. 8.7. Performance 8.2. Yes. 8.4. 4.4 out of 10. What car is that? Um, NSL from 2004. I'll just be one minute. Let's go to the yeah. toilet. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. And today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches Father.time.luxury.watches This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches. And uh, just in a great, look at this. His food with watches, his coffee with watches. Just great, great photos, great watches, and a great lifestyle. Look at this beautiful cigar. And you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle. Look at this. Ah! What a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar. So there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it.
Hey guys, Achi Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one.